morning. How are we all doing, all right? Today I'm gonna to talk about picks, and uh, I'll tell you why I think small picks are the best, and thick ones. But that's my, my, my opinion. Got a fever at the moment. It's quite hot here in uh, London. Well, it's hot for here, it's about, I think it's gonna be 24 degrees today. So I woke up, the nose was all blocked up and all that, so I had to take the uh, a fever tablets. Right, so talking about picks. Uh, picks, when I first started, you know, I'd have a box full of them, I loved them. Um, loved going to the shop, picking them out when I was a kid, like sweets. Different colours, the different shapes, thin ones, thick ones, you name it, I had loads of them. And um, for years, I didn't know what was the right pick to use. Um, as I say, I had different, all different ones. Um, as you know, you've probably tried them. You can get the thin ones, get the medium ones, get the thick ones. But for the last, I reckon, trying to think now, I reckon the last 20 or 30, no, say 25 years, I've more or less used the same kind of pick. And I was told to use it and I ignored it twice. And then I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to give this pick another go because, um, I'm not getting on with lots of them. So anyway, so when I used to, when I first started, I'd have a few different picks. So I'd maybe have a thin one and I'd have a medium one. Oh, that's a thick one now. Um, and say a, a really thick one, all different ones. And so when I was practicing playing guitar, I'd have these picks on the side. So for each song, I would swap picks. And you know, when you're indoors playing, it doesn't matter because you're indoors, you're watching the TV or you're a kid in your room. You think, oh, I'll use this pick for this song. Um, and also I'd be playing something and I began, oh, it's this pick, what's doing it? I need to swap picks. So I was always using excuses as well for not developing as a guitarist and um, swapping picks. And that makes you inconsistent as a player because when you use a different pick, the grip feels different. Uh, the sound of it's different, obviously, believe it or not. And I'm going to demonstrate that today as well, how a pick can make your guitar sound better. Yeah. And um, you, were, you should hear the difference straight away. If you don't, then don't listen to what I'm saying. Um, just crack on with what you do. Anyway, remember, this is my opinion of what is the best pick to use. So be good to hear your comments down there, what picks you use. You might say, no, nah, you're talking rubbish, you know. Fair enough, I don't mind. Say I'm talking rubbish. Um, so, different picks. You've got the big ones. I've got a fine one. This is my lost and found box. Look, see in here, there's a little box of picks. I think I must have had some Spanish tapas in there or something. So when, if I'm teaching, people um, come round and they leave their picks behind. So this is like in school, when you can't find your jumper, this is all the different picks. And I'm trying to find ones here so I can demonstrate the different sounds because obviously I use my ones, that's quite thin, that's thin. Ah, this pick here, sh sh probably shouldn't leave this one in here. See this velvet pick? When I was a kid, my mum and dad took me to see Dice Straits and uh, we were sitting right down the front. This is the day before Ticketmaster and all that crap when if you got up early enough and you went to a place where they were selling the tickets at Wembley Arena, you could literally get a great seat. But them days are gone now, because they're all gone. So anyway, we were sitting right down the front and we got hold of this pick. Well, I didn't get hold of it. The, uh, the geezer playing bass for Die Straits, John, he threw it out and it landed right in front of me. And I thought, wow, I've got a pick from Die Straits. But it's, God knows how old that is. And that's about 36 years old. Um, yeah, it's just an old bass pick. And then I lost it for years, moved house, and then I think about then, about five years ago, my dad said, Yeah, I found this pick when they moved out. So got lost, it's got found, and it's been there ever since. Probably the longest pick I've had. Um, anyway, let's get back to it. So, picks. When you are using your picks, you get different sounds. Now, this is the pick I use. It's a really thick one, three millimeters thick. And I'm gonna tell you why it's the best, um, in my opinion. Now, when you use a pick, 
what you want to do is, first of all, you've got to learn to hold it right way. People say, there's loads of great guitarists out there that hold picks all differently, but there is a right way to hold it. And when you hold it the right way, it opens up the door to more styles. Um, but if you just want to play in one style, crack on with what you do. So what I do is I clench my fist and I just relax it out of it. And it's like a little triangle. If I use a bigger pick to show you it, yeah? Yeah, you want to sit it in like this. Sit that on top. Yeah, so it locks in. So it's like it's on a shelf. You see that? And then you just clamp it down. And you only want about 25% stick it out. If you've got all this, that's no good. If you're holding your pick like that, which a lot of people do, that's not great. There's a lot of great guitarists that do that, but it's not the best. That is the correct way. End of. Yeah, see it? Just sticking out like that. Because a lot of people, when they play, they go, if they hold it wrong, a lot of people around camera, they go, oh, I can't hold a pick. I just play with my fingers. I say, well, show us the way you hold the pick. And they hold it wrong. Because when you're strumming or hitting the guitar, there's nothing underneath that. It's not supported. It's all loose and everything. So you want the pick to be in your hands. That's like solid underneath. That is just stuck there. It can't go anywhere. If I go like that, that's not moving. But like that, it's wiggling about. So simple fact. Right, so clench your fist, relax it, sit that on top, clamp it in. I don't know if you can see that, see it? Can't even really see it. So look, when I play, whatever style of music I use, I play with this. This is your graphic equaliser, this creates tone. Thin ones don't make your guitar sound great, and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna play a simple scale on the same guitar, and you're gonna hear the difference. So what, ready? If I play it here in the fifth position, pick, go use the thin one now so you can hear the difference in sound. Back to the fifth one. Straight away you can hear the guitar sounds rounder and warmer. Just by changing that pick you get a different sound on the guitar. You might prefer the other sound, that's up to you, but look. clearer, it's a different sound, and obviously that depends, like if I play the same thing with this pick here, you get different tones all the way across, look. So you might not like the sound of your guitar because you're playing it too back there, but look there, look. Now, the reason thin picks don't work as well technically and holding it wrong, if you're holding it wrong from the start like that, yeah, there's not much you can do. But if you hold your pick like this, if you want to do that hybrid picking, I've got my pick in my hand, I'm using my fingers. If you hold your pick between two fingers, you can't do that. That is in between your fingers, look. And then you can move around that. So, as well, if you hold the pick and you put 75% of it under your thumb, yeah, that is not moving anywhere. If I do this, it's wiggling about. If you use bigger picks, you've got to put more of that under your thumb, which, you know, you may be happy with. But then if you use it and you hold it on the edge, I'm over-exaggerating it, it's gonna move around. And this affects the guitar. So look, if I play the guitar, can you see, I used to think that thinner picks would make you play faster, but it is the opposite. Small, thick picks make you play faster because imagine this is like a really blunt life, knife, or you can act, literally see it. As I'm putting down on the string, it's resisting, yeah? So if I play it, it's, it's moving about because it, of the, its flex, flexibility. If you use this, it just cuts through straight away. So 
So even doing that makes a difference, look. These picks are good, thinner picks, if you want to get that flicky over sound, whereas you can't really do get it, but it's a warm sound. So using this pick makes a difference to the sound, look. the sound of this just easier <laughs> but these are better as a whole it took me to about the age of 19 um, I was playing guitar so I have all different picks <laughs> Went to a guy who's a really great teacher here in England. And um, she chose little picks. I thought, nah, I can't get on with them. So I didn't. But then I went round a friend's house, guitarist, when I was about 26, 20, I think it was probably about 26. He had these. And I thought, oh, he's a good guitarist. And the other guy said, use them. I'll give him another go. And then from that point, I've always used these. So. Remember, it's my opinion, what I think. You might think differently, but give it a go. Use them small picks, because then it means you get a warmer guitar sound. Um, the, the, when you play with these, it cuts straight through. These are three mils. It takes a while to get used to, but when you get used to it, look. I don't think I can play that speed with this, look. So it's, I can feed it as I'm hitting the string up. Definitely faster, you can look. It's messy as well, because it's, I can feel it moving and that's even with the same grip. So, let me know what you think, but these are my favorite. See you later.